Hi everybody, Big Red, we're back. Today we have another Bell Lost Souls product review and unboxing over here. Today we're looking at the Dust Warfare Hot Dog Pounder Steel Rain Mickey Medium Assault Walker Kit from uh, Fantasy Flight for Dust Tactics slash Warfare. Uh, we've done a, uh, one of these before for one of the German units. we got the same thing here. We have, uh, it's a plastic box set. Uh, it's uh, one kit that lets you build uh, the four different versions of this. There's three on the box. There's the fourth one right there, which is the short barrel version, um, and uh, is for the Americans. There's what there's the box right there. DustTactics.com, Fancy Flight Games, everything you need to know. And uh, this thing has a street price. This is full retail for this guy. Uh, Twenty-five bucks, pretty cheap. You can get it uh, from your local FLGS. You can uh, get it, I'm sure, from an e-tailer of your choice for slightly less than that. But uh, it's a pretty good price point. And uh, we will unbox this guy and get right into it. And we're back. Here we go. So we got the clamshell here. We've taken the box out. We'll just pull that guy right off the top. Over here. And there we go. To like to, as we saw with the German ones, let's just move this over. We have, uh, just before we do anything, we have the main uh, vehicle right here with one of its versions. We have alternative weapons to turn it into uh, into other variants. And then uh, in this case, one of the variants is, uh, is so different that it has an entirely different turret. And you get all four of them right here. Uh, it's that same kind of a um, uh, uh, dust uh, miniature range feel. Uh, they come pre-assembled, uh, they move, they have movable parts, and uh, they come primed. So you get, you get a base color for each faction and very limited decals. So if you want to play right out of the box with these things, feel free. If you're an actual painter and you want to dress them up with some blending and highlighting, washes and, and base them, it's not going to take, you know, it's going to take you very little, little time to get a really sexy looking army. Uh, so we'll just take a look at this guy and get him out here. So first things first, we'll put him over here. Take a look. So we have the basic kit right here, as you can see. So we have, um, it's kind of a, it's basically a, uh, a combination from a real-world perspective. It's kind of a, a little hopping, walking version of a Sherman. It's got that little kind of Sherman Stewart kind of a hole, uh, hole to it. It's got the little front, front machine gun. You have the turret right here. Turns. Looks very nice. Uh, you have your fuel tanks on the back. you got these big hoppy legs. This thing can, uh, I believe one of the special rules that this guy has is that it can, uh, uh, it can hop. So it has these little spring thingies right there, so you can kind of do little jump moves too in addition to walking. Looks pretty nice. Uh, and let's take a look at some of the accessories and uh, see what we can do with this thing. And we're back. Here we go. We've assembled one of the variants of this thing. You can see it. Uh, we have the long barrel that slides right on. We have the searchlight. We have the machine gun on there. The whole turret moves. Looks pretty good. Here it is. You know, you can be playing with these things right out of the box. Five minutes later, here it is, the obligatory comparison. Here it is compared to a Dreadnought, so you can get a good idea of the size. They're, uh, these are not small kits. Bases are bigger, models are substantially larger, and, um, you, know, you know, as I was saying before, $25 for that. Um, there you go. That is the American Hot Dog Pounder Steel Rain. Mickey combo kit. You can build all four of the things in there. That is from Fantasy Flight Games and that is for uh, Dust Tactics slash Warfare. Talk to you guys later.